Hello, so welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. We're continuing on with the parts and services. We're on to the last one, which is Foxy. Let's give it a go. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh dear, he's lost his head. What have we got here? Lots of different fuses by the looks of it. Whole bunch of different eyes. Hammer. Doesn't be any doesn't seem to be any secret tips or anything like that. Let's just get continued. He's gonna put the head on. Oh no. Whoa. It looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Okay. Did he say arm or leg? In receptacle number one. I thought he said arm. Uh, the one that's blue and green. This one. This one? Good job. Yay, it was Foxy the has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh, I am, trust me. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. So it's that one there that's missing. <coughs> that one there. Wait till he stops moving. I've got it. Right, so it's another blue and green one. I'm watching you. There isn't another blue and green one. Stop trying to kill me. Blue and green. Here we go. Oh, it's a blue, green, and red one. This one? Yeah? Stop moving. That's good. Jesus! What do you know for? What went wrong there? I took the blue, green, and red one. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse yeah. from Foxy's chest and insert right, so it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. It's three blue, one green, and three red. This one. I've got it. This is the one. Stop moving. Don't attack me. Why is it gonna forget? Why is it gonna forget? Where is he? No! Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm. Ah. I totally wasn't listening, so take that out and put in his upper arm. Right. Well done. Sorry, I hit the, the mic there. The chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Right. Fix both fuses to continue. 
Right, so red, blue, and green. I'm watching you. Blue, green, and red. This is the center. Yeah, one more. Red, blue, and green. This one? Sugar. Got it. I've got it. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Right, so hopefully this is the last piece. And it looks like he's got orange eyes. So I'm looking right at them. That's a green one. Orange, there we go. Let's go. Well done. Yes. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Yay! Did it. Foxy wasn't too bad, apart from having to keep an eye on him at all times and him sprinting towards me like a maniac. Yay! Fazbar! So, completed all the parts and services. Next time, I'm going to move on to maybe vent repair, night terrors, or I might start on uh, some of the legacy games, FNAF 1, 2, or 3. Who knows? Uh, if you've got any recommendations, let me know. Okay, so that concludes parts and services of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted for the VR on the Oculus Quest 2. I'll be moving on to some of the other game modes, so stay tuned, look out for the new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.